All right, welcome back. Captain Danger here. We're uh, continuing on with our project here in the 97 Eurovan Shamu. I'm installing a 100-watt solar panel uh, that's going to go with our TF65 truck fridge. If you haven't seen that, I did a video all about that. Check that out. But uh, let's do a solar panel. Come along. Okay, step one, pretty easy here. We're going to go ahead and uh, slide this bunk board back. There's uh, three screws that we got. One, two, three, and then there's four four smaller screws uh, here on the uh, bunk. We're going to take those out and slide the whole thing back and that'll give us access to a uh, little spot in the back. Let's take a look. All right, in the very rear of the passenger uh, side here, there's a little uh, hole where I've sent a fish tape down, pulled the bunk board back, and this is where we're going to feed our solar panel wires through. I removed the screws around this part of the pop top and uh, fed the wires through and we'll put the uh, screws back in there and pull the wires on through. All right, I pulled a rope through with the fish tape, then reversed the tape and pulled the fish tape up from the bottom, attached the wires, then by going back and forth, uh, pulled the wires down. All right, I'm going to close the wires here in a uh, sheath. And we'll uh, wrap that all up. Okay, we got the wires coming down from the pillar here. And uh, they're going to go to the charge controller. This is an older charge controller that I just happen to have, so I'm just going to use what I got. It's brand new. Uh, Morningstar. And uh, I'm going to mount it on this bulkhead right here. So I've just mounted this charge controller onto a piece of wood, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, using Velcro, it's going to stick onto this bulkhead. And uh, let's take a look. And here it is attached and wired. Got the uh, wires from the panel and going to the battery. All right, let's take a look at the panel. This is a SolarTech a model SPM 100P. It's a 100 watt panel. Um, what I did is I mounted these uh, aluminum brackets on the side and as you can see it fits just between the Yakima rails. Uh, now you could use the same mount, either screw into the top or uh, with adhesive, but this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to drill into the uh, bracket and there's a little insert that I have that that will screw into. Okay, I did a time lapse, but it didn't come out that great. <laughs> Phone got too hot, but anyways, here it is. So, uh, mount on both sides, mount it into the rail, and uh, like I said, you could probably there's a number, infinite number, of mounting options, but that's uh, what worked. Here's the wire with the uh, pop top closed. You can see it just goes underneath right here. Uh, the seal is on top of that. It's tied off in a couple of spots, and then underneath the panel, it's uh, cable tied in a couple of areas. All right, we're making voltage and uh, hook up to the battery. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Too. And there we are, we're making alternator voltage, 13.76. So we're charging, it's working. So next thing, I guess I'm gonna replace this battery and uh, move forward to the next project. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope this helps.